Give me one more minute at least. One more minute. Come on. Give me one more minute. Excellent. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Keep digging. Keep digging. Come on. Come on. Good. Good. Well done. Good. Good. Man, that was unpleasant. <laughs> so what is up, nutrition nerds? That was the end of my VO2 max test. Gets pretty nasty towards the end. Now I did this test a month or two ago at my old university where I did my master's degree. I actually recorded or, well, tried to record an intro video when I was in my car and I was gonna go through it and explain it a little bit. I don't know if you've ever tried to record a video in public, but I'm not very good at it. I kept trying and then someone would just walk past or drive past and I would just crumble. So I had to do one here instead. So yeah, I did a VO2 max test with a buddy of mine who is also a sports nutritionist. I was curious about what my true VO2 max was compared to what my Garmin thought it was and just how reliable my old Garmin is for estimating it. Now, my Garmin VO2 max at the time said it was 60 and that's a reasonable number. Depending on what sport you're looking at, you'll see elite athletes are usually above about 65 and some might be around 90 and your average active person is between about 40 and 50. If you aren't sure what VO2 max is, by the way, it's quite simple and nothing to be scared of, or at least not of the numbers, but maybe the test. VO2 max means volume, V, of oxygen, O2, as a maximum, max. You might also hear it get called maximal oxygen uptake or maximal aerobic capacity. Whatever you call it, it's the number you get from performing exercise at a gradually increasing intensity and measuring the amount of oxygen you breathe in while you do so. AKA, you do a test which gets harder and harder until you can't go anymore. Now, when you do a VO2 max test properly, you do it in a lab under controlled conditions and you wear a mask which measures the gases you breathe in and out. You can get a lot of info from this, which we won't fully go into in this video, but maybe we will another time. So you do said test to exhaustion and then you look at the data afterwards. When it comes to VO2 max, it can be expressed in two ways. The first is as an absolute value where you look at litres of oxygen per minute. Here you'll get values like 2.5 litres or 3 litres of oxygen per minute. The other way to express it, and this is much more common, is to express it as a relative value. So you measure millilitres of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute. So that's basically the calculation that is happening when someone says my VO2 max is 50 or 60. And as a bonus tip, if you want that comparable value to be correct, you need to make sure your weight is correct, otherwise it will throw it all out. So, I wanted to see how close my Garmin estimation was to my true VO2 max. Once you've done that test, you'll get some sort of data output from it. For me, it's one that I could just open in Excel and go through it there. So this is the kind of thing you'll see. And as I said, maybe another time we'll go through more of this lab data and what it actually means. Anyway, after analyzing my data, my VO2 max came out as, ooh, attention, 56, which I'm pretty pleased about. I've always thought that my Garmin overestimates my VO2 max wildly. I mean, it says I can run 5K in 16 minutes, and unfortunately I can't. Not yet, anyway. But this wasn't too far out. So for me, I guess I can say that my Garmin VO2 max was reasonably close or at least gives a good guesstimate anyway of what my true VO2 max is. There's quite a few factors which will influence Garmin's estimation accuracy and, well, I debated whether we should go into that and into VO2 max in a bit more depth in this video or not. Basically, whether knowing your VO2 max is even useful, what else contributes to performance and that sort of thing but I thought I'd actually just keep it short and sweet. If you do want to know more about this, then let me know in the comments because it helps me create better videos for you all. Anyway, that is it for today. If you haven't already, then do give the video a like and press subscribe and I'll catch you next time. See ya.